I first made the decision to, to come out in 2012, uh, and the first person I ever told was my mum. I guess it got to a really dark time because at the same time I was injured as well, so also kind of dealing with that, but people sort of thinking that was my main, um, I guess, problem at the time, but really it was kind of struggling with myself as well, so it was kind of dealing with, the, with both at the same time. You get to a stage where you do have suicidal thoughts, and I, I guess I almost did something stupid, or, but I say stupid, not stupid because there are people that do it, you know, there are young youngsters doing it all the time because they don't feel that they'll be accepted in society. Um, but you know, looking back, I'm grateful that I didn't. Thankfully, I saw the likes of Gareth Thomas come out, Keegan Hurst, who's a rugby league player, but you know, these are encouraging acts. With... I probably fully accepted who I was around the age of 18. Uh, I'm 26 now, so quite a while, while ago, but seeing, having role models like that really did help in, in deciding, okay, I, maybe I am able to do it, and maybe people will be accepting if I'm, if I'm to do this. You could just got to find the support. It's, it's out there and you've just got to look for it. You know, we're so connected these days with social media. It, all it takes is a message to someone like myself, um, someone like Gareth Thomas, and there are loads of support groups, Stonewall, all these sorts of things. So find someone, don't, 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 be, um, don't hide it to yourself because obviously I know from experience how it can very much affect you mentally. So look for support, it's out there. And you live once, so you know, you want to be open and be yourself. England again with Stanley goes. You know, one of my biggest regrets is not building and cementing the relationships that I, I should have really made with, with teammates and people who, especially I came up through Saracens Academy with, for example. Uh, you know, I see some of the boys playing now, which is great, and I, and I love like following their careers now. Um, but, you know, I never really went out with them, never socialised with them because I always felt like I've got to, I've got to live this lie, tell them I'm doing one thing. Like housemates, for example, living with Ben Spencer, um, I tell him I was doing something else, and he was from, he was a northern guy, so he's he's not really going to go up to Manchester every weekend, and I wasn't really spending time with the, the players, getting to know them properly, etc. But I felt that was the way I had to be because I couldn't be gay and be a rugby player. You don't want your teammates to find out, so the less you can kind of be with them, the less chance of them asking, oh, uh, have you got a girlfriend? Have you done this? Have you done that? It's, you just avoid the situation, and that, again, is a massive regret for me now. We, we live once, so what's the point in worrying about what other people are thinking of me? Just be you, and if people like it, they do. If people don't, they don't. You've just got to accept it. I'm in a position now where I'm happy, I'm living, living like the, the life kind of I want, um, and there's, there's absolutely no regret, no lies.